Hey everybody, this is the new Barton Musical Circuits Binary Counter Slash Divider module. This is the first in a series of uh, four HP Eurorack modules uh, that uh, don't have any kind of controls to them, no knobs, no buttons, no toggles, or anything like that. It's just inputs and outputs. This one has two inputs. This is the clock in at the top and a reset in a second from top. And then the five outputs are each corresponding to a bit and a binary number that's being counted. Uh, and that's most useful for being used as a divider. Uh, so uh, it's going to divide by powers of two. So this output is dividing the input by two, four, eight, 16, and 32. Um, and let me go ahead and turn it on and show you how it works. Uh, so I'm just going to... Uh, so this is the output of this LFO is feeding it, and the LFO is also feeding the auto sequencer for the patch I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, but so you can see the number is getting larger. Uh, this is the most significant bit at the bottom and the least significant at the top. If you're used to counting in binary, uh, those words will mean something to you. Otherwise, this is a pattern that you should be able to grasp uh, visually how it works. And uh, yeah, so you could use this to uh, divide down into octaves a audio signal, and it'll output as a square wave. Um, but I'm going to show you a kind of more musical uh, application for something like this. So the auto sequencer's new input that'll create a new pattern, I'm going to put that to the bottom here. And then this is uh, the control input to a VCA that has a voice that is synchronized to our main voice. And I'm inputting that to the second from the bottom output. So what we'll get is we'll get um, the same pattern repeated eight times. It'll be two without the second voice, then two with the second voice, then two without the second voice, then two with the second voice. And then a new pattern will start. And so it's kind of a call and response kind of sound, a very musical uh, application for what is kind of a technical, uh, te hard, sort of hard to grasp uh, piece of uh, module t modular technology. And uh, I'll let this play for a second. And then before uh, the end of the video, I did just want to show you what the circuit board looked like. I don't normally do this in these, but uh, as you can see, this uses jacks that are mounted straight to the PCB. Normally I uh, have all the jacks separately mounted, so you could use this. So you'd use most of my modules with uh, different uh, synthesizer formats that don't use these 3.5 millimeter jacks. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let people know before they got excited, if you're using a system that doesn't use these jacks, you'll need to do a little more extra work in this. Uh, though, the, there are mounting holes, so you could uh, mount the PCB without using the jacks in a system that uh, used a different format of jack. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I should have uh, a lot more uh, modules using this format uh, coming soon. Alright, have a great day.